All right, today I'm going to give you guys a detailed look at this uh, Star, Star Trek figure. And uh, the figure I'm showing you guys is uh, Mr. Spock. And uh, this is uh, from Mesco. They're a 112 line. And uh, there's the box. It comes with a translucent uh, slip cover. It's the side of the box. And there's the back. You see a couple of pictures of uh, Spock and uh, some of the accessories that he comes with. So let's open them up. Alright, and here we have Spock outside of packaging, and uh, here are all the accessories that it comes with. So let's go over the access accessories first. Uh, first, uh, he comes with uh, two heads, one with uh, his eyebrow raised, and one is just a normal looking one. And then we have his uh, tricorder, right there, and it opens up too, which is very impressive. And there you go, you just have to rotate that piece up and uh, you can see the little monitor and some buttons there. And then we have his uh, Vaser. Let's take a closer look at that thing. It's awesome looking. Paint job on it is nice. And then we have his communicator. And it also can be flipped open. And uh, we have a bunch of hands. And his uh, belt. For the phaser and uh, um, uh, communicator and stuff like that. And then we have a, a base, which is really nice looking. It's baby blue and the logo. And a translucent rod to put them onto the base. So let's uh, take a good look at Spark. And uh, one thing uh, that I want to state is that uh, his legs are not even. Uh, one is longer than the other. His um, his right leg is actually longer than the left leg. Which is a bit weird and uh, a bit disappointing that uh, you're paying this much for a figure and uh, the legs aren't completely straight, uh, completely um, uh, same length. And uh, here's a side view of him. And a back view. So let's take a closer look at that head sculpt first. And uh, yeah, they did a really, really impressive job. Uh, I just think it focus. There you go. Um, the likeness is uh, dead on. I think they did. I think Mesco did a great job on sculpting this uh, head sculpt. And uh, the skin tone is nice too. And uh, there's the outfit, nicely done for something this small, because this is a 112 scale. Uh, let's measure him first. He is about six, six and a half inches in height. And let's get back to the outfit. And there you go. It's cloth and it has the emblem on it. Nice. And these uh, black pants. and the shoes. Now as far as articulation, the uh, head is on a ball joint and um, here you can see it's basically attached to the neck so uh, he won't give you quite a lot of uh, range motion because uh, with figures that gives you um, ball jointed head and then base the neck another ball joint it will give you quite a lot more range of motion but this one only has a ball jointed neck so he can look up and down uh, but not significantly he could actually look down uh, at a good range. And as far as looking up, that's about it. Now shoulders on a uh, ball hinge joint and then uh, ball hinge uh, elbow. And then same thing with the ball hinge wrist. And then uh, chest, uh, there is a joint there, but uh, the way they sculpted the shape of the body and the chest area, it, it only allows you to do a swivel joint. So you can only rotate left and right. Now for the waist, there is a ball joint. And as far as the hips, uh, um, he does have uh, ball jointed hips. And then there's a s swivel joint around the thigh. And then uh, double jointed knees. Uh, and then, uh, oh, and then the uh, top of the boots, there's a swivel joint. And then the ankles are on a ball joint. So as far as the knees, he could bend about that much. Here you can see he could definitely do a sit down pose. Um, so uh, when uh, Captain Kirk comes out, and if you have other um, captain's chair, 
then uh, he will be able to sit down quite nicely. Here I got him uh, shouldering his uh, tricorder, holding a phaser, and uh, holding his communicator as well. So, yeah, great looking figure. Uh, honestly, the head sculpt is truly amazing. And uh, yeah, lots of lots of poses you could give him because he is um, highly articulated. So you could definitely give him a lot of cool looking poses. And, uh, and this is just one that I came up with uh, right this second. But uh, yeah, you can see he he has a lot of potential uh, when it comes to uh, posability and uh, photograph. So there you go. There's uh, this thing is gonna set you back about um, what was it seventy seventy five somewhere around there. And uh, I already showed you his height. And uh, yeah, even though it's a bit pricey, but uh, I feel this figure is very solid, like all the other um, Mesco um, one twelve scale figures. Um, there are a lot more coming out. Uh, there's the Spock. I mean, uh, um, there's the Kirk that's coming out uh, later on. And I think they're also making a Zulu, uh, which I don't care for. I do care to purchase the um, Kirk. And uh, these two would be the only ones I'm going to get from uh, Star Trek. Because uh, this is not my series. Uh, my my uh, The one that I watch is the Next Gen. So that's the one I, 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 I like the most. Uh, I wish they would make uh, figures from that line. Uh, hopefully they will eventually. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, that's the one I wanna. I definitely wanna get uh, full cast on. Uh, but uh, for this one, I'm just gonna go with the Spock and Kirk. And there are a lot more other figures that are coming out um, from their 112 scale, uh, <clears throat> the 112 line, uh, a lot of uh, Marvel stuff and a lot of DC stuff as well. So yeah, there you go. There's Spock. Uh, Spock, not Spark, <laughs> Spock from uh, Star Trek and uh, by Mesco. Thanks for watching.